Today we will do problem sums of multiplication. Okay. When we say problem sums of multiplication, we need to know the sign of multiplication first. And the sign of multiplication is this cross sign. Okay. Multiplication means to multiply. In multiplication problems, what we are going to do is, we are going to add a particular number many times. Okay. So, for all the questions, we cannot do this every time. So, we are going to multiply multiply means adding something many times adding something many times okay for making it easy every time addition is not possible so we are going to remember the tables for this you need to know all the tables very well then it will be easy for you like let us read the first question a bus has six wheels a bus has six wheels how many wheels do five buses have? First of all, we will read the question completely once. And secondly, we will read it sentence by sentence. Okay, we will break it. Then we will come to know what we have and what are we supposed to find out. Okay, now see a bus has six wheels. So, a bus has six wheels. You will circle it. Next, how many wheels do five buses have? So, five buses. They want to know about five buses. Okay. Here they are telling us about one bus. A bus. Okay. One more thing we can keep in our mind. When something about something is told to us. We know about, for example, this is a pencil. Okay. I will be telling this pencil is of 1 rupee. Now you need to tell me what will be the cost for 10 pencils. So after telling about one thing and you have been asked about many things, one is given, you will be asked for many things, then in that case you will multiply. Okay, in that case you will multiply. So a bus has six wheels. We are talking about one bus over here, only one bus. One bus has six wheels and they want to know how many wheels do five buses have. After telling about one bus, they want to know about five bus. And what are we supposed to tell? Number of wheels. So what we will be doing, first of all, we will write the first number that is six. Okay, six is the first number. Next is what? Number 5. Okay. Number is 5. You will write the next number after that. And then you will put markings like this. You will put the multiplication sign. You will multiply it. Either you can do 6 5s are or you can do 5 6 are. Okay. You know the table and you will get the answer 30. 30. Now, what are they asking us? How many wheels do five buses have? They are not asking about the buses. They are asking about the wheels. After how many? What is written? That is what you are supposed to tell. Okay. So, how many wheels? They are talking about wheels. So, here you will write wheels. 30 wheels. Okay. And here you will write answer. Okay. Like this you have done first question. Now we will come to question number 2. Here I have taken only one digit number. Okay. So with one digit number we are going to do all these questions. Next one is a week has 7 days. A week has how many days? 7 days. Okay. How many days are there in 4 weeks. Next number is 4. Okay. Next one is 4 weeks they are saying. What are they asking us? How many days? Here also if you see in this question after how many what was written? Wheel. So we wrote wheel over here. In this question after how many what is written? 
days are written so with the answer we will be writing days all you need to focus is after how many what is written we will write the first number that is 7 okay first number is written that is 7 then second one we have marked that is 4 okay we will write 4 over here we will put the sign of multiplication now you can either do 7 4s are or you can do 4 7s are okay both will show the same answer the answer is 28 7 4s are 28 now what are we supposed to write over here after how many what is written how many days so we will write days okay and here we will write answer i hope you all know the seven days of the week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday like this we will get the seven days of the week now we will do question number three a cow has four legs okay first of all the number is coming four we will just put it in circle how many legs do three cows have in the second sentence we saw another number that is number three in the first sentence we read and it was like four legs first number we got is four legs so we just put it in a circle and then in the second sentence again we saw a number that is three cows okay we have marked the number three and now we are going to focus on the third thing that is after how many what has been asked that is legs okay these three things we need to do now first number you will write as it is four okay then how many legs do three cows have now we want to tell about three cows initially they told us about one cow and now they want to know about three cow so we will write like this one cow has four legs so we want to know about three cows so we will put the sign of multiplication four threes are either you can write like this or you can write like three fours are okay the answer will be 12 now after how many what is written legs so we will write legs we are talking about the legs so how many legs do three cows have 12 legs and you will write answer like this you will do let us revise once again if you see question number one here we got the information about a bus a bus has six wheels one bus is having six wheels they want to know about five buses and we got the answer 30 we got wheels over here as after how many what is written they want to know about it okay the same way in the second question a week has seven days we wrote seven like that how many days are there in four weeks we want to know about four weeks so we will multiply 4 with 7 or 7 with 4 either way you can do we got the answers and here we got days as after how many the word written was days so we are talking about days the same way in question number 3 we got the information about one cow a cow means one cow one cow has four legs they want to know about three cows so we'll write four after that we'll write three we'll put the sign of multiplication we'll multiply four and three we got the answer 12 and after how many what is written legs so we will simply write legs we'll write answer mark and then the problem is solved okay i hope you will remember this this is problem sums of multiplication